Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press, and if you want to improve your WordPress publishing, you should get the Publish Press plugins. In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve your WordPress publishing by adding better images to the Gutenberg editor. By default, WordPress comes with a fairly basic image block, but it is possible to do much more advanced things with your images. I have a photo of a very cute penguin inside my WordPress site here. If I hover over it, I get a nice overlay. And if I click on it, I get the image coming up in a light box. This is possible with the Publish Press Blocks plugin. This is completely free to download. At the time of the video, it has over 30,000 users. And if you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can grab this plugin for free from WordPress.org, install it on your site, and do everything that I'm about to do in this video. In my demo site, I have Publish Press Blocks installed. You can see it in the left menu here. And I'm going to create a new post. This is going to be called My Post with Advanced Images. And I'm going to add an advanced image block. I can search for it. And there we go. Advanced Image. And this is what the block looks like by default. Let me get started by choosing the Open Media Library option. And I have another penguin image ready to go. By default, there's a title and a subtitle above it. And you can edit the text directly over the image. This is my penguin friend. He likes to eat fish. And over here on the right side, you have some settings for the image. For example, you can decide what happens when someone actually clicks on the image. You can open it in a light box, and we saw some examples at the beginning of this video. Or you can send them to a URL. For example, if you click on this picture of a penguin, you can go to penguin.com and the link will open in a new tab. Or you can choose to open the image in a light box. A little further down the page, you have some image settings. You can decide whether the image is full width and you can control the height of the image as well. I'm making it higher and higher and higher. Or in the opposite direction, you can make it shorter and shorter. Okay, 500 pixels was the original size. If I set it to 380, then I'm focused in a little more on my penguin friend. The next setting down is a focal point picker. This allows you to choose the center of the image. If I go higher, then the penguin moves down the image because the focal point is higher up the page. You can move in the opposite direction too. If you move the focus of the image down, you can see the penguin moves higher and higher up in the display. You can do this manually, or you could do it more precisely by typing in numbers down here. This would allow you to type in the exact percentage you wanted to move to the left or up or down the page. Next, you can choose the overlay. Let me show you what the overlay looks like by default, and then you'll get a better idea of how we can adjust it up or down. I'm going to publish this image so you can see what we have done so far. So here's my penguin friend, and you'll see that it, if I hover over the image, there's a slight overlay change. If I click on the image, I get the light box. So this is what the image looks like normally. And one more time, this is the overlay that we're going to modify. It's fairly subtle. If I edit the post and go back to the right side, I can change what the image looks like by default. This is what it looks like when it first loads up on the page. If I set it to zero, this is the original image. 
no change is made. And when it comes to the overlay, when someone hovers over it, I'm going to make it much darker so you can see how that works. So if someone hovers over the image, the image gets much darker automatically. A little further down the settings, we have the color options. You can change the title, the subtitle, or the overlay. By default, WordPress pulls in some colors from your theme. It does this to help you out so that you can choose colors that match your existing theme. But if you don't want to use any of the colors that WordPress pulls in automatically, you can click on custom color and choose anything else. To show you how this works, I'll choose a bright red color. And you can see that the title has now changed to that bright red. For the subtitle, let's go for, okay, a kind of ready black color. And then for the overlay, how about we go for a somewhat darker blue color? There we go. The overlay is now blue. Down below is the text alignment. You can control where the title and subtitle appear over the image. You can set them at the top, at the bottom, and you can choose the horizontal alignment, moving them to the left or to the right. I'll click on update. I will view the image. And there we go. I will probably have to play with the colors a little bit because the ones I've chosen make the text hard to read. But you can see how good this looks on the demo site that we have here. We have a large, really eye-catching picture of a penguin with text over the top of it. And then further down, we've got a a resized picture of more penguins. This one has a darker overlay, and again, it has the light box effect. Publish Press Blocks is full of these useful tools, whether it's accordions or tabs or tables or all sorts of things to make your WordPress site and Gutenberg better. If you haven't tried it yet, head over to wordpress.org and grab a free copy of Publish Press Blocks. It really will improve your WordPress publishing.